So what do we have here? We're now going to Revelation right here. See? Revelation. And we're going to see what it adds to the same time period, which in Revelation is bounded at 192. See, look. 88 plus 192 equals 280. So that we're aligning the time with up here in Matthew. Okay? Egertesetai gar etnos epi etnos. Okay? So 192 though is a little, is, it's like in the middle. See, because it's not the end. It's in the middle. 192 is 280 to align with Matthew. And of course, in, in, in Luke, it goes to 283 instead of 280. And, and in Mark, it goes really, in, it's in the middle, see, because it's not the end, which is in the middle. It goes from 276 to 298. Oh, so it's brought in the period. Okie dokie, you got that? So what do we have here? 192. 192 is 280. Okay, so now now this is really important, okay? Because when you see the wit here, you're going to die. Okay, Diocles actually killed Afer, a.k.a. Bor, who was taking care of Karas' son, Numerian, in 283. That's 283. John is writing Revelation in 88 AD, so we subtract 88, and you always end up, you know, going one year forward or one year back because he's writing at the end of the year. That'd be 195. Okay, so let's see if we can find 195 in here. Okay, so that's 199, so we count back four syllables. Right? 199. Okay, so here's 199, 98, 97, 96, 95. That's the year at the end of the year that the Oakleys kills Afer. Alleging that Afer killed Numerian. And then the Oakleys magically get set up as his own emperor by the troops. Okay, well, what's this word then? Te keri. What's that? Well, in Greek, the definite article is part of the noun. So you count the whole noun, starting with this definite article, which is te here. And what is that saying? En te keri autis. In her hand. This is the word for hand. Diocles killed offer with his own hands and since the definite article is part of the noun and it's occurring at the end of the year November I think it was November then Kerry would be the beginning of the next year and so it's just a month away so you're counting the whole thing his hand and of course this is about the whore having a golden cup in her hand. Yeah, and so he gets to inherit the purple, a.k.a. the gold, by his hand. See, this means by her hand. In her hand. Greek preposition in means by, by means of, within, with, inside. Okay, so by means of his hand. Hand begins there with the definite article. And that's the first part, that's our first verb, the first syllable of the word hand. You see, so Diocles' hands killed Afer to claim the purple at the end of 283 AD by Roman time. It was like uh, uh, Thanksgiving sometime around there. I may have to go look it up, but it was November. So, see, by his hand. This is how Revelation is commemorating the rise of Diocletian. So that's 283, 
284, 285, and by the end, his hand is acclaimed by Senate. The Senate says he's the real emperor of Rome by then. He still had a lot of battles to fight because there were a lot of other guys with their armies running around the territory that used to be, you know, the, the Rome and the Middle East and Europe. He had to fight them. But his hand, his, they gave him his hand as the real Roman Emperor, the genuine one, the Senate said, you're our Roman Emperor now, at that syllable, at the end of the word hand. You get the wit? Please say you do. Okay? So now, he goes about to create. Create. A religion, which is depicted here as a whore. Harlot, if you want to be nicer. He goes about to create a unifying religion in order to get all those other people in the other territories who were, as it were, being dominated by whoever was the claimant as emperor, saying, hey, God is on my side because the Senate voted for me by its hand. See? Hand. That was 285. He had two years to play to get it to this point. And so now this is 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 is, is four years later. So we got one ninety nine plus eighty eight. That's two eighty seven. Two eighty seven AD right there. Okay, well this is two ninety eight because it's still in the middle and he's still fighting against the other kings self-proclaimed emperors and and that's sort of like still in the middle with Luke okay because this is this is see hands 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 okay you getting the wit here you getting how revelation is tracking Luke as well as Mark as well as Matthew. Okay? This is detail about what kind of fighting went on and how it got resolved. Okay? And you'll notice that they were talking about rulership and, and here she is drunk with the blood of the saints having in her hand a cup of precious stones, gold. Is this cute or what? This is how the crisis of the third century gets resolved. Okay? So he's mapping his syllables to Matthew and Luke and mark using the keyword hand instead of basilea or ethnos but he makes sure that the text is the same and he makes sure to include hi this is the rise of world religion dominating the state because everything constantine does is an exact aping of what diocletian does we know that historically. If you were living at that time and you actually knew this meter and you were tracking it, you'd be saying, oh, wait a minute, there's a whore going to rise here. we got to get out. See, the woman, okay, and now she's, you know, clothed in scarlet and purple. Those are the colors of um, religion and political rule respectively okay and when you're taking the cup that's gold that means you own it that means a celebration that means you're raised up that means you're in control that means you're in power in her hand yeah and Diocletian's hands were what killed Afer and it's because of his hands that he takes hand over and he's handed over the Senate hands its power over to him.
right there, 285. So now we got two more syllables to 287, and that's because he's still fighting, which we see from this text. And we see from this text, because that's going here, see, because he's using hands too. Well, this is a little bit later in time because this is actually covering the rise of Constantine at this point. Okay? Because Constantine's going to take things into his hands, too. Okay? And, of course, Matthew, we're looking at here to here. Okay? See? Basilea Ethnos. You see how they're all tying together? You see how witty it is that Revelation is using the word hand here? So I'll leave you with that and I'll come back in a minute. I need some water.